you want to go to your computer and you can have your device connected all the time to your to your computer Mac or PC and you want to run the latest version of Red Snow now once you have Red Snow running it'll look just like you see in front of you just click on extras and then you want to go right here select IPSW and then you want to go to wherever you have saved on your computer if you have it on your desktop or wherever you just click desktop or, and go to the location I have a jailbreak folder successfully identified you just click OK and then after that you click back and then you click jailbreak and the process begins now you, this is the next screen that you'll see right here once you click next and it, I built your build is identified and you used iOS 6.0 to full red snow and you're really on 6.1.3 okay so what you need to do here is you need to go into DFU mode so what you want to do is you want to hold the top button first the power button once you see that slide to unlock you want to hold the bottom button at the same time now so you want to hold both buttons when you see your screen go black you want to just let off the top and continue to hold the home button the bottom button now once you hear that or you see an identification of some sort on your screen from red snow alright now my device is fully rebooted and the jailbreak first part of the tether jailbreak is complete now it's time to do our tethered boot. Now there's a trick to this. The first thing you want to do is, like we did before, you want to go back to select IPSW. And you want to locate that iOS 6.0 that we downloaded in the beginning. So wherever you have it. I keep my stuff in the jailbreak folder. Okay, see successfully identified now you'll be able to do the tethered boot you go just boot right there and you got to go into D DFU mode like in the beginning so you do just what I showed you you hold the home you hold the power button until slide to unlock shows up then you hold the home button and the power button at the same time and once you see that your screen goes black you let off the power button and you continue to hold the home button for a few more seconds and you'll get a notification like that and you just that's it and you see exploiting with lime rain That's what you're looking for when when you're doing the tethered boot after you finish the jailbreak once you see that on your screen just keep your device plugged in still but you know that you're doing the right thing when you see that okay now that my device is completely rebooted and the tethered boot is complete you just slide to unlock and if it's not on your first page or second it'll be somewhere in there Cydia and I'll show you first that I'm on the latest iOS which is 6.1.3 see right there version 6.1.3 and there's Cydia alright this is supercharged iOS and I was showing you in this video how to jailbreak the newest iOS 6.1.3 for iPhone 4 and, and older, iPod Touch 4th generation and older, and the iPad 1. Alright, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any problems, please leave me a comment. Please rate and subscribe.